It was one of the most beautiful things Carl Sagan ever said. And for someone who could so famously find beauty in the universe, that's saying something. In his 1973 book, The Cosmic Connection, Carl Sagan wrote, All of the rocky, metallic material we stand on, the iron in our blood, the calcium in our teeth, the carbon in our genes, was produced billions of years ago in red, giant stars. We are made of star stuff. It's a poetic way of viewing the universe that Sagan later made even more popular in the original Cosmos series. But what did he mean? How much of you is really star stuff? Well, the idea goes back to a truism that we've talked about here before. As well as being providers of light and heat, stars are also element factories. The smallest and simplest element is hydrogen, with just a single proton and an electron. It's the most basic form of the stuff Sagan was talking about. And it, along with helium, which is just four hydrogen nuclei fused together, are the result of the Big Bang. But everything in the universe that's heavier than hydrogen and than ancient helium was made by a star. Stars spend most of their lives turning hydrogen into helium. This is called the main sequence of a star's development. And it includes stars as diverse as our own a so-called yellow dwarf, to our nearest neighbor, Proxima Centauri, which is a red dwarf. But some stars become massive enough to fuse more than just hydrogen. The enormous heat and pressure generated by stars just a little bit more massive than our own can go on to smash three helium nuclei into carbon, and then add even more hydrogen nuclei to form nitrogen and oxygen. On and on these reactions go, as stars fuse elements into heavier elements, all the way up to iron, element 26. These element makers, the sources of all carbon, calcium, oxygen, and all other precious elements, are the red giants that Sagan was talking about. But it doesn't stop there. We know this because the universe, and you, are made of stuff that's a lot heavier than iron. In some red giants, during their final death throes, their cores will collapse and heat up even more, generating enough heat to form even iron nuclei, forming elements as heavy as bismuth, Element 83. But most of the heaviest elements come from something even more fantastic, supernovas. These elements can only be fused into being with the energy that comes with the final collapse and explosion of a dying star. Gold, silver, lead, uranium. These were all created by stars who had run out of their nuclear fuel, their enormous masses collapsing in on themselves under the forces of gravity until flinging out their remains into the universe as clouds of gas and dust. And those clouds went on to form other stars, planets, and ultimately, you. So how much of you is made of dead stars? Well, you've probably heard that you're mostly made of water, which is true. The average human being is 53% H2O, each molecule of which contains two atoms that date back to the Big Bang. There are lots of other compounds in your body, of course, but scientists estimate, mostly because there's so much water inside you, hydrogen is the most common atom in your body, accounting for 62% of the 7 billion 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 atoms that make you, you. So, counting atom by atom, you're 38% star stuff. Anything that's not hydrogen, oxygen, calcium, nitrogen, carbon, was manufactured in red giant stars and supernovas billions of years ago. But hold on a minute, because hydrogen is also the smallest and least massive atom. So if you wanted to measure your body's chemistry by mass, then you're only 10% hydrogen. By mass, then, you are 90% star stuff. But no matter how you size it up, the rest of you, all that hydrogen, is 13 billion years old. So you're not all star stuff. But the way I like to think of it, and I think Carl Sagan would agree, is that there's no part of you that isn't literally astronomical. Thanks for joining me on this Nerdfighter video challenge fake episode of SciShow Space. And if you want to keep exploring the universe with us, please head over to subbable.com slash scishow. And don't forget to go to youtube.com slash scishow and subscribe.